Is your BMW's AC system starting to blow nasty smelling damp air? Well, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys an upgrade that completely revives the AC system to blow nice, crisp, cool air. And on top of that, makes our BMW more lightweight and allows the engine to run substantially cooler. So stay tuned because this is an upgrade that you're not going to expect, but it actually makes a huge difference. So now coming under the hood, this right here is gonna be your cabin air filter. The cabin air filter is basically gonna take in all the air from the engine bay, filter it out, and then supply it straight into the cabin as cool conditioned air. So without this filter here, you would just be getting a fume overload from the engine bay basically into the car's cockpit itself. So in today's video, I'm basically showing you guys a replacement that's gonna replace this whole entire cabin air filter section here for something more lightweight and reusable. So let's go ahead and start removing this unnecessarily sized filter. So now removing this thing is extremely simple. It's actually only gonna be held in by four little eight millimeter screws along here. So we're gonna have one, two, and then we're gonna have three, and four and once those are removed you can actually just go ahead and grab this unit and pull it straight off just like that taking a look at the filter guys we can see it's not in the worst condition but it's definitely not filtering at 100 percent efficiency we can see a lot of dirt trapped in between all these grooves i mean if i shake this thing little rock sediments are falling out for retrospect guys this thing's absolutely massive i mean this filter weighs a couple pounds in itself we can see that there's two inlets here so it's literally double the size of what a regular car's cabin air filter would be now i'm going to go ahead and show you a lightweight replacement filter that's actually just going to insert straight into these little holes here sweet so in my hand are actually the new performance cabin air filters we're going to go ahead and install so let's go ahead and unbox these and already right off the bat guys i'm telling you these are extremely lighter than that massive thing i mean these probably weigh a couple ounces as to where that filter weighs like a, a few pounds so already these feel like they're going to be really good they feel good quality let's go ahead and take them out something here i noticed right off the bat is that these are actually like a metal mesh. And the reason why they're that metal material is because they are rewashable. If they were cloth, you really wouldn't be able to just wash them and put them back out. You'd have nasty smelling damp air. And then just to show you guys for a size comparison, we can see that these are a fraction of the size of this massive filter. And sometimes more doesn't necessarily mean better. So if you're building a car specifically for performance or a track, etc., then you don't need all this unnecessary weight. A few pounds can actually go a very long way on top of that being made out of plastic isn't really great because this doesn't create a watertight seal we can see here that these have a rubber seal on the outside and that should actually work to grip on the outer edge or this lip here and watertight this entire little cabin air you know insert and just because i'm a curious person i went ahead and actually grabbed a scale and we're going to go ahead and weigh what this old filter weighs in pounds so let's go ahead and put this down, get scientific here. Now let's go ahead and set this down. And 28.4 ounces, that's almost two pounds just on this little filtering unit here. So two pounds is what this weighs. Now let's compare that to this, which we're gonna go ahead and multiply by two, three ounces. So this right here, both of these combined is six ounces versus two entire pounds. So that is a great weight reduction right there it's something i never even would have thought of so you're going to install that bigger end just like that and then now what we can go ahead and do is actually pop in those little eight millimeter screws again just to make this as watertight as possible and now something i noticed right off the bat is these new filters have this raised lip on them and that raised lip i'm pretty sure is actually going to do a really good job at making sure water doesn't get in under here so we can see that the water is going to come down and get dispersed to the outside but even if we have water somehow make it up here this raised lip is going to make sure that water gets dispersed around the outside as well and doesn't actually seep in. So they look like they were thought out well and overall a good product. And believe it or not, having this huge unnecessary piece in the engine bay, you're gonna restrict the ram air that's coming into the engine bay that actually cools down your motor. So having all these unnecessary cowls and this huge filter in a place is actually gonna work against your engine and make your engine run hotter over time. So if you really wanna give yourself the best benefit, I would say definitely remove this entire cowl here and that'll give you all the airflow you need to cool down your engine, but also still filter out all the harmful toxins from coming into the cabin. But I'm gonna go ahead and leave it on just because I'm not too fond of the idea of removing this and having water 
be able to get into the ECU right here. So I think this is overall a good compromise. We're saving weight, but at the same time, we're not going to expose ourselves to any risk of anything going wrong in the future. So I'm going to keep this cowl on just because I'd rather be safe than sorry. So now we're going to go ahead and test the air quality from my air conditioning system with those new filters installed. So let's go ahead and turn on Vader. Now that is what I'm talking about. That actually smells a lot cleaner and a lot crisper than the air coming out from that old filter. Oh yeah. And now we can see our AC is set to 60. We have our air conditioning on and the air coming out is nice and cool and it smells good. It smells fresh and clean. It has a world, world, world difference than before. Before it smelled like hot and dank and just nasty. This air actually smells nice and crisp and just like clean air. I don't know how to describe it better than that. It simply smells clean. So that overall was a huge, huge, huge upgrade for something that's so small. It actually makes a big difference in the comfort of you driving because that actually smells like how AC system is supposed to smell. It smells like a new car again. This performance cabin air filter is an absolutely great upgrade for all of you BMW owners. To revive your AC system to blow nice, cool, crisp air and shed weight off of your BMW and potentially increase the cooling ability of your engine is an absolute no-brainer for the price point. To be only $40 and be completely rewashable and reusable is an absolutely great bang for your buck. That saves you a lot of money in the future so you don't have to go out and keep buying new cabin air filters. You can literally pop them out, rinse them off, and they're good to go. So when you add up all the benefits from these new cabin air filters and the fact that they only took minutes to install, I highly recommend them to each one of y'all. And I'll have a link down below where you can get your own with a little discount code thrown in there. And as always, thank y'all so much for watching. Catch y'all in another video. Peace out.